Have drones taken over the world? Or at least, will they in the future? They're cheap enough for anyone to own, and are used everywhere, from tracking and filming athletes at the Olympics, to changing modern day warfare. Within the last decade, soaring popularity and rising technological advancements have enabled new innovations to become viable, making science fiction a reality. So let's take a look into the future to see the purpose drones may serve. Amazing! To clarify, although the word drone has gained negative connotations due to their association with military uses, the majority of them are harmless. A drone is simply defined as an unmanned aircraft or ship that can navigate autonomously without human control or beyond line of sight. Here are a plethora of amazing future uses for you to think about. Number 10. Racing Drones are certainly entertaining, and now that pilots can wear special point of view goggles to see where they're going, it's only a matter of time till they become as famous as F1 drivers. Flying a few feet above the ground whilst navigating obstacles at speed of around 60 miles per hour, it takes insane reaction times and hand-eye coordination to manoeuvre these tricky tracks. At the National Drone Racing Championships, enthusiasts are banking on big-time corporate sponsorships to go professional, and it's something that will most likely happen in the future. Elsewhere, drones battle it out through combat. Our obsession with fighting robots hasn't seemed to fizzle out at drones, as they've been put to battle in the appropriately named Game of Drones Combat League. At the moment, these types of contests are in their infancy, but it is likely that they'll be super popular in the near future, because let's be honest, we just watch the races to see crashes and destruction anyway. What will be particularly exciting to see though, is if developments in augmented reality will be integrated at these events. Maybe a racing event combining combat could result in a tournament similar to some kind of Star Wars chase. Number 9. Surveillance. Drones are likely to become increasingly involved in civilian surveillance from border security to law enforcement, but most significantly, we've learnt from Call of Duty how important UAVs are in combat. Therefore, to meet growing military needs, drones will have to innovate. Currently, drones like the Watchkeeper and Reaper are utilised, but cooler drones like this Black Hornet Nano are used on the battlefield. Amazingly, it weighs about the same as three pieces of paper, despite carrying three cameras. It's an incredible piece of kit with a hefty price tag to match. But perhaps it isn't the definitive answer to modern day reconnaissance, as it's vulnerable to even weak gusts of wind. Along with a growing need to have eyes inside buildings or close on the ground, the future of surveillance may come from other micro air vehicles that take inspiration from nature. Bionic drone birds that can be hidden in sight and compensate for oncoming gusts by flapping their wings asymmetrically may be one solution. They would be able to enter locations which were previously inaccessible by traditional means and multiple MAVs, each with small sensors, could perform swarm operations to work together to survey large areas. It's so mouth-watering for the military that DARPA is of course investing in its development. Yet, as we've seen, even civilian drone fighting suggests that we cannot resist weaponizing this sort of drone technology. Number 8. Weaponry we all know that the military draws at the implications of this sort of technology, and although many people abroad and at home bitterly oppose this, there's no doubt that drones have already revolutionised warfare, so the military won't shy away anytime soon. So far, drones that were originally meant solely for surveillance, such as the Predator and its larger brother, the Reaper, have inevitably been equipped with missiles and used in covert operations throughout the Middle East to destroy potential threats. But, with more remote pilots now being trained than fighter and bomber pilots combined. It's easy to see what's on the horizon. Sophisticated manned fighter planes will also be replaced by killer drones. In fact, the US has already successfully developed and tested the X-47B, and its larger brother, the X-47C, is still in development. Similarly, unmanned drones may change the naval battlefield. Russia even leaked plans to long-distance underwater drones equipped with missiles, possibly even nuclear ones. Or what about fitting those nano drones with precise targeting weaponry, such as incapacitating chemicals or explosives? Obviously, computers must go some way before these ideas become possible, which is why the Pentagon is currently funding groundbreaking research to develop tiny microchips with brain like artificial intelligence such as the iris. All this seems to suggest that drones will be able to kill all by themselves, a prospect that leading thinkers including Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking consider frightening enough to call for a ban on them. Nevertheless, not all drones are being developed for war, even though they are extremely useful for it. 
Number 7. Humanitarian Relief Most drones are a cause for good. In fact, there's even a high-profile competition in the United Arab Emirates to prove it. It is dedicated to transforming the innovative technologies behind civilian drones into practical, realizable solutions for improving people's lives today. With a million dollar prize, you wouldn't believe the number of issues that can be solved with a drone. At least, when there's so much money up for grabs. Teams from all around the world fly in to show judges their prototypes that demonstrate how drones can improve people's lives. For example, a finalist, the Navigate, is an unmanned aerial vehicle which is designed to go where other people can't, such as confined environments in times of emergency. Its unique flying characteristics allow it to finely manoeuvre while stationary. It can think on its own as internal sensors create a map of the infrastructure. And if it does end up crashing into things then team flyability may have already created the solution. A collision resistant drone that rotates on a genius gimbal so that it can safely bounce off the walls. There are loads more possibilities for drones to provide humanitarian relief, including providing emergency shelters. Number 6. Construction Taking inspiration from 3D printers, it's interesting to think that drones like these mini-builders may be constructing our houses in the future via layering concrete. Alternative building methods are also viable though. They may become useful builders by assembling concrete bricks rather than directly laying the concrete. The Swiss Federal Institute of Technology has demonstrated this new pioneering approach to design and construction using automated multicopters with sensors to position themselves and deploy bricks. The same university found that drones could assemble load-bearing structures such as bridges out of rope. Think about the possibilities if we scaled this idea up so that drones could carry heavier materials. It would eradicate the need for bulky scaffolding and cranes, so in the future it may be the answer. Although in my opinion it's likely that a halfway point may be found where drones assist rather than take over the process because drones may be slower, more expensive and more dangerous than conventional means. But the idea of assigning autonomy autonomous drones monotonous tasks once performed by humans is significant. We may even find them maintaining our skyscrapers <laughs> as window cleaners. Number 5. Farming and Agriculture Drones have already been utilised for precision agricultural spraying of fertilisers and pesticides in Japan since 1991. In fact, the work of 2,500 Yamaha remotely piloted helicopters is attributed to one in three bowls of rice produced in Japan. It probably isn't long until other countries follow their lead, but the agricultural implications don't stop there. In my opinion, drones will provide solutions to even greater issues such as deforestation. Since traditional hand planting cannot keep up with our industrial scale deforestation, how about making tree planting at least as efficient as tree cutting is? Biocarbon engineering is pioneering this idea. Just imagine how many trees one drone can plant on its own if it shoots small paintball-like seed pots into the ground using a device similar to a paintball gun. If this is carried out at a precise rate according to computer mapping, it's surely the most efficient way to replenish our forests. Number 4. Aerial and 3D Mapping 3D mapping combines images from many different viewpoints to make a three-dimensional model. Pix4D used it to map Christ the Redeemer in Rio and realised that it could serve as a reference in case of damage. In other applications, drones may be able to help map out vast landscapes as detailed digital models to save time creating them for video games or special effects purposes. Drones are also ideal for surveying landscapes or inspecting vast constructions. Aerial imagery for farming is also already a thing and may significantly increase crop yields. Providing bird's eye view pictures of farming fields, farmers will be able to identify specific areas with unhealthy crop conditions. For example, using an NDVI indicator, healthy plants from a crop can be distinguished from unhealthy ones and thermal temperature maps can provide information on irrigation. It's debatable whether it's actually cost effective, though even a few percentage gain in crop yield may make it worthwhile. In the future, great multispectral imaging developments may even enable us to identify minerals deep in the ground. Number 3. Filming and Photography of course they already perform this function, but they'll probably be just as important for this use in the future, and there are developments which are still yet to be implemented for this purpose. Drones made by DJI and Unique somewhat pioneer the market in terms of fidelity and 4K video recording, and the trend towards these goals will continue, but purposes may change. 
They've proven ideal for discreetly filming dangerous wildlife, and it'll be a great way to show off real estate, perhaps combined with 3D mapping, potential house buyers will be able to tour houses online. And flying them will get easier, the ghost drone is one innovation that looks extremely easy to control via an app. And for capturing that one perfect coherent shot, ground control software like Droid Planner will be incredibly useful in the future so that filming is automated and smooth. And we know that drones are great for capturing action sports. Innovations that can fly and follow autonomously, such as the Air Dog, are likely to develop further. Something which I'm particularly looking forward to though is the Lily Throw and Go drone. It's waterproof and will potentially follow you around for 20 minutes. Imagine how cool this tech would be for vloggers in the future. Drones may even rule the selfie stick obsolete. The Xano is essentially a very simple device that can capture images with ease. Number two, expanding internet coverage. One day the world will probably be connected, thanks to drones. Imagine that, no matter where you are in the world, even if you're stranded on a desert island, you may have coverage. It might seem far-fetched at the moment, but Facebook and Google certainly don't think so. They've both purchased solar-powered drone companies in 2014 in pursuit of this goal. They're specifically working on connecting isolated parts of Africa to the rest of the world. And to do this, Facebook in particular will use high-altitude flyers as part of a network of linked satellites so that drones and lasers can beam internet to remote communities from the sky. Their current prototypes are lifted to height by balloons and have a wingspan greater than a commercial plane despite weighing less than a car. Google's drones are also designed to fly high above commercial air traffic and potentially remain aloft for up to five years. And they're even experimenting with balloons by themselves in their Project Loon. Number 1. Logistics It's no secret that companies including Amazon, Alibaba and Google are experimenting with the possibility of autonomous drone deliveries. Not only would it save human effort, it would free up the roads and increase convenience for customers. Even though they are unable to carry much, with a current limit of £5, Amazon said that 84% of its orders fill this criteria anyway, so it is possible today. Yet some serious issues remain. Packages may be stolen and drones may be shot down or wirelessly hijacked. But these aren't the main reasons preventing us from having things delivered in hours. More generally, safety and privacy issues remain, and with current legislation in America particularly, it's just a matter of when rather than if. Nonetheless, being the quickest delivery method, drones present an exciting prospect for foodies out there. A Silicon Valley startup's plans of a drone delivery service called TacoCopter offered a glimpse of what would be possible before FAA regulations shut it down. It's not only food though. Deliveries of aid or military supplies may be fulfilled by these autonomous robots. They have the advantage of circumventing traffic to offer time saving on life or death matters such as organ delivery. They may even eventually deliver vaccines to stranded survivors in dangerous isolated areas. DARPA is even developing lightweight, cheap, expendable drones that will disintegrate once delivery is complete. There are so many possibilities that I'd be willing to bet that drone advertising becomes a thing. In reality, drones are capable of carrying out many of these uses right now, but issues regarding legislation and drone traffic management are restrictive. The uses of drones really seem endless, and there are undoubtedly hundreds more practical uses. So what do you think drones will be doing in the future? Thanks for watching, and subscribe to be amazed. Also, don't forget to check out the amazing video by clicking the box on the screen now.